Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, members of Abounding Grace Foundation. Good morning, my beautiful friends, my well-loved and appreciated partners. Good morning to each and every one of you. Yes, I might be tired in my flesh, but my spirit is so awake. Um, I want to, I just want to pour out some prayer unto you all. It has not been an easy journey in Ghana here, but thank God that I've secured my seat on a flight going back to Lagos today. Um, it has been a very wonderful outreach. You know, outreach where we 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 are like we got like ninety percent of the inmates saved. I mean, we're talking about over a thousand souls are saved. <laughs> but the funny thing is that I mean, I went out of my way to clear every of my bank account, but the one in London, everything is cleared off because I needed their lives to be touched, not just being saved. They need to be touched. Uh, the slogan of Abounding Grace Foundation is touching lives. And if we go there and preach to them and we don't touch them, then it's not complete. So we had to do that. And whatever it takes me to touch life away. But I thank God for the provision of my foreign partners, uh, home partners, everywhere you are. Even some prisoners are even contributing these days. It's, it's, it's amazing. One, one guy from prison just told me, oh, I sent 1,000 naira to you. Please use to help my brothers in prison. And do you know that that shocks me? I mean, I was shocked to my bone. Um, I mean, a poor Nigerian prisoner. And there was one time again, I was in, a, I don't know if it's Sapele or Wari. I finished preaching and then I was about to go. And then this young, this young boy, he folded his hand and he came to me and said, Sir, can you take this please, sir? It's my seed. And I opened it. It was 1,000 naira. And I know that this guy have not, if you look at him, he's starving. I said to him, come, come please. Yeah, we can keep this money. I have received the blessing now. I'm giving it back. He said, No, sir, you have to go with the money. You have to go with the money. And then, you know what I did? I went out, I went to the uh, reception. I asked the guy his name. And when I got to the reception, I said, Please, the registry, can you call me the woman in the registry or the man in the registry? And they called one lady. She came out. I said, So, so and so name, um, what, why is he here? So, oh, he, he's here for, he's still going to court. They've not uh, decided exactly, but he's going to, it's about a uh, murder case and so on. Wow. I say, what do I do? I say, anyway, the least I can do now is to bless him so that he may have food and beverages and so on while he's going on. I say, please, where is his registry? His, um, his own, what did he, how much do he, does he have in his um Registry, but they have like a where you keep money they need, they will take. He said, No, he has nothing there. They don't have anybody visiting him. There's no money there. And how did he manage to give me a thousand? So I took 20,000 naira. I counted 20,000 naira. I said, Can you register it on his account? So whenever he needs something, he can be drawing from that place. At least he has savings that can sustain him for a while. And he said, Wow. Did he know? I said, no, they're going to call him now because if you don't know, then I'm, I'm not sure if the money will get to him. So he said, no, we, we never take them. I said, yeah, I know, but some people do. Can we just go and call him now? They called him. He came and said, okay, God has blessed you with 20,000 naira in your account. So what? Oh, no, Pastor, no, it's not true. I said, yes, it is true. This young man... He has no food to eat in that prison. The 1,000, I don't know however he got it, however that money got to his hand. And as I was about to leave, he said, that bless me that my word has blessed them in that prison. So, sir, this is my, my support to your work. 
I had to reward him. I have to give him 20,000 naira immediately because I know that is the way our Heavenly Father rewards us when we are doing everything. If we have instant reward, it's not about hey, your reward is in heaven. Those that are praying those kind of prayer, I don't want to be praying those prayer for me. I don't need it. What I need is instant reward so that I can do more. What if I don't have to give? How can I do more? Telling me my answer is in heaven or my prayer. No, God will reward us from here and then have a final reward. That's the ultimate reward in heaven. But first of all, we need to receive the one here because it's through the word here that we can be able to say that through prosperity, the cities are shed abroad. Without prosperity, you cannot spread the gospel. How can I move? So that prayer is not a right prayer. Sometimes we are too spiritual that we don't even know how to pray. But in this morning, I'm going to pray with you. And, but I'm not going to pray that your reward is in heaven. Because I want your reward to start this month. I want this month of gold to start rewarding you instantly. That is why I came here. Um, but before also I go to pray, I want to tell you that the lady that we paid for five blood operation, we are going to take her to theater next to this coming week. Um, she's full of joy. You don't understand what happened. That lady, she was interpreting for me. I was speaking English and um, uh, um, and then, uh, what do you call it? Thank you. Somebody sending me a message here asking me for account number. God bless you. I don't know who that person is. Don't worry. If you're watching, God bless you. I will send it to you, okay? And then, do you know, this lady was interpreting and the Spirit of the Lord said to me that she's not feeling well, that she's not okay. And I say, I said to myself, what can be the problem? But I know that the stomach is unusual, huge. So my spirit told me that it's uh, fibroid or pregnant. That's the two things. And then and when I look at the age of the woman, it doesn't look like somebody who will stay conceived or anywhere. There's nothing that God cannot do. But I mean, for me, it doesn't look like she's pregnant. She looks like fibroid. And then um, when we're done with the program, got outside and I said, can they call me the officer in charge? And then she wasn't around. So the two I see, a wife of an army officer as well. Uh, she came and then I asked her, oh, who was the problem with that woman? The Holy Spirit told me that the woman is not feeling well. He said, oh, that she has been with this painful fibroid for some time and she's going to be here for four years. And I was like, what? You know how it feels to carry? Do you know how it, I don't know if anybody has experienced, there's nobody that might have given me that answer, except if you have fibroid. Like put how many kilos of, uh, of, uh, of uh, what do you call it? How many kilos of stone in your, in your womb? And you carrying these stones of this maybe two three kilos of stone in your womb and going up and down every day for four years inside prison. I said no, I'm not gonna walk out here until something is done. I say, is there any ATM? Let's go and um, see what I wish I have my bank uh, my wallet. Here. I would have shown you. Let's so I can go and I pull out my private account uh, my ATM, um, about English Foundation ATM. And I began to draw everything I could find, everything I could find. And as God may have it, we raised over 1,000 Ghana cities, yeah? I know, I know about $300 or $350, something like that. I don't know anyway, exactly change. And then we went back there. They called, they contacted the hospital and everything. They've done it so many other people before. They said that the price usually is 1,000 cities. That's minimum. And then if there's any medications and so on, we pay for it. And as God may have it, we have that money. We paid. And this, if you see the joy in the face of this woman, my God, if you see her reaction. And also one other guy on, this guy has a, um, um, what we call them we be in Ibo land is called um, high near when their penis is so swollen and so on and it's heavy, it's painful. I couldn't leave him there as well. God the the, the next day there is a lady in uh, London, a friend of mine, she sent hundred and fifty pounds into my account where I would draw those money from. So that is why I know that God never let your account run dry if you keep on using it for what he asks you to use it for. He will keep supplying. So I went into that account again and when she told me that she sent money, I went there again to withdraw and everything and we paid for the surgery of this young man with a hernia. All these things, I have them on a letter. That I usually love to post these letters. The reason why I post letters is for you all to know that Christianity is real. And 
and we can still do it. Forget about what is going on about tithes and offering and the name calling to men of God and everything. Forget it. Just do your own. Do your own part. If there is any general overseer or man of God who is failing, it's not my business. It's not your business. Allow them to fail. Let them go to heaven and then answer their questions. It doesn't concern me actually. What matters is what did you do with your own? You might be sitting down there talking about people that have a private jetties and that, but you have one million naira in your account. You cannot even give somebody nine hundred thousand. Then you are as bad as him. If you have a million naira and you are keeping, a, you need to give away 90%. What is the money doing in your account? Give 90% away to those that need it. Then you can have right to judge the men of God. But if you cannot even remove common 500,000 naira out of 1 million to save a dying prisoner and you sit down talking against the men of God, you are bringing damnation upon yourself because it doesn't make sense to me. I believe in true Christianity. True Christianity is not jabba, jabba, jabba. It's not too much talks and critics. Christianity is when you move out of your comfort zone and begin to comfort somebody in their own uncomfortable zone. Can I say that again? Christianity is when you move out of your comfort zone and begin to comfort someone who is in their own uncomfortable zone. My English is so bad. I don't know if this is right or not. All I know is that just speak as God gave me utterance. If it's wrong, please correct me. But that's what I understood from what Holy Spirit just said now. Christianity is a selfless life, a sacrificial living. When you don't care about yourself anymore. You know, when you have this reckless abandonment. When you, when you, when you don't think about yourself, nothing matters to you anymore. Do you know that somebody, I, I, I so one, one Jesus, I know you are part of uh, support to joy. You have given us some money time to time for joy and all these things. Let me say this, yeah. There are some, there are some men, some people that came from USA, they took details from joy from me and everything. They went to Ubiaja to go and see joy. When they got to Ubiaja, how much was that? God, please help me now. Six or seven hundred. Yeah, I think the, the DCP, the officer in charge, said to me that the people gave Joy six or seven hundred dollars and then gave her, I think it was sixteen thousand naira cash or twelve thousand naira cash. It was a lot of money actually. And then pray for her, pray for her okay. seriously. They were some some of them from USA because they saw my video and everything and they contacted me and I gave them the address and everything for the prison. I told the prisoner what I please if they come and set them to see Joy. I've told them anybody who come there for Joy, please accept them to see her. So there are so many lawyers, about five lawyers now, working on the case of Joy and everything. And when these people went there seeing Joy, praying for Joy and everything, they did not hesitate to give $700. So I think it was $700 and then 12000 or 16000 naira cash they gave to Joy. And do you know what baffles me is that the, the, the officer in charge uh, told me that Joy, they told Joy how much they brought and they said that some percent of the money, they are taking away $100 from there for prison orders and so on and other things. So which I said, it's not done. They know the way I work, yeah? He said, yeah, but you, you, know, you just know, evangelists, we just need to help other people. Joy can't have all the homeowners anyway. We have to reason with joy and save joy because if joy said no, then obviously it's her money, give it to her. But if he says yes, it's fine, but I know that he wouldn't say no. And I never expect joy to say no. And to my greatest surprise, <laughs> please forgive me, I can't believe it. And Joy did not want them to give any money to anybody. If you know how much I've spent, how much I've sent to Joy, and what I've, the people are blessing and I'm sending to her, making her, do you know that Joy refused to give that hundred dollar to the water? I shook my head. I said, okay, now I know why my prayer was not answered. I've never prayed the way I pray for this girl and God refused me. Now I can see. You see, the heart of people can hold them. I swear to my Father in heaven, I know that heart of people are holding them bound and they don't know. If your heart is not good, if you don't know how to sacrifice, you hardly receive or draw from God. You see, I woke up this morning, I was supposed to call one I love so much, one of my friend and my best friend and everything, and then... Uh, 
I, I, the first song that came out from my mouth was this song. I come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Oh, hey, oh Lord, we have come to draw, draw, draw. Draw from you again. You see, whenever we go on our knees, we have come to draw from God. And when we draw from him, then we go and empty to those that don't know how to draw from him. Because not everybody have the privilege or the right to come to him to draw. Those that come to Jesus Christ say, I come to draw draw from you again there are those that he filled with his glory when the glory of god is upon you you can do things that people never believe so when you receive you stretch out don't harbor it when you receive and then incubate it and keep it with yourself you cannot grow if you come back and say i have come to draw 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 from, he will say, the one you draw before, what did you do with it? Jesus will say, no, I cannot give you anything, no more, for you've never used the one I gave you. That's the song you hear Jesus singing back to you. Yes. Oh, we have come to draw. Halabusha. Draw. Draw. Draw from you again. I want somebody to open their mouth and their voice. Raise your voice and sing unto God. Say, you have come to draw. Hey, draw. Draw. Draw from you again. Oh, yes, oh Lord. My heart has come to draw. 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 Draw, draw from you again. Oh, I say we have come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Oh, legeya ba shanta ya kali We have come to draw. I said, draw, Kalabashata. Draw. Draw from you again. Lord, you know it, the heart of your children. Singing unto you now, saying that we have come to draw. Ah, draw. Draw. Draw from you again. Oh, hey. My heart have come to draw. Aya, aya. Draw, halabusha. Draw, draw from you again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Every one of you that have come to draw, you are going to feel your well. The Shunammite woman, he said to her, Go and gather as many, just as many as gallon, as many as jerry can, as many as keg you can get. Just speak, bring in, for there shall be in feeling. When you gather, when you gather a lot in the days of infilling, do you know what's happened? She will have plenty. That will be overflow. But if you go and gather only two jerry can or two 25 liters here, 25 liters here, two 100 liters, you will fill 100 liters and you don't have any more gallons. So keep drawing. Keep drawing so that you will feel your burn properly. But before you draw, make sure you have gathered. How do you gather? You help others to grow, to grow in the presence of the Lord. That's how you gather. You gather by helping others to grow. Give others what you have. So when you come to draw, you are empty already. It's only empty vessels that he can fill. Any vessel that is already filled cannot be filled. I don't know who I'm talking to. It's not a message you would like to hear, but I know there are still few people that will listen to me till the very end before I start praying. And those that are listening to when I start praying, all of them will receive. Those that just run away from message waiting for prayer, you come, you won't receive anything. That is exactly what it is. Except those are not that well for me. Because this advice is what makes you blessed. 
you can't be running away when somebody's about to tell you the truth and once the truth is over you start praying you jump into the line to call you don't receive anything you cannot deceive god you can't those that hearken those that are listening to this advice and they will bear when I start praying, you will see that this month will not pass by. It's a month of gold. <laughs> I have come to draw. Hale. Hale. Draw. Kalaba Shandaya. Draw. Draw from you again. It is a month of gold. I said a month of gold. And you must draw. You are going to draw from it. The Lord who created heaven and earth is going to give you what is called sufficiency. You see, you will live in abundance, abounding life, abounding mercy, abounding love. Everything shall abound. When I say you live in abundance, you are going to live in abundance. That you will have plenty and you will even give without pain. I said we have come to draw. Draw. Draw, draw from you again. Oh, hey, we have come to draw. I said, draw. I said, draw, draw from you again. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh, we have come to draw. Jesus, draw. Draw, draw from you again. Oh, set your belt properly and you sit your butt properly and raise your head. Let the King of Glory come in. If you are the gate, O ye gate, then lift up your heavenly gate. Lift up your head so heavenly gate may properly open for King of Glory to come in. He says in the book of Isaiah, keep your gate open all time so the wealth of nations shall come unto you. The wealth of nations shall come unto you. Oh, we have come to draw once again. Draw and draw. Draw from you again. Oh, hey. Lord, we have come to draw Jesus. Draw, hey, draw, draw from you again. Oh, <laughs> hey, if you love your friend, if you love your friend, if you love your friend, I said, among all the people that have been here now, over 20, 30, or 100 people that might be watching in background, only one person shared this video, and you know that we're about to pray selfishness cannot take you anywhere i want us to learn to to cultivate the attitude of selfless life when you see something that will benefit you then that thing will also benefit other then if you have a reason of coming to my timeline then you should have a reason to bring your friend to my timeline because we are learning something isn't it we learn something if we're coming here to receive please get your friends to receive oh we have come to draw <laughs> Draw, draw, draw from you again. I saw so many people, sometimes you see them, they go into a one nasty thing or comedy or whatever. Once they see it, bam, they share it on their timeline and they are promoting evil. They will not know. They are promoting evil. They will use their money, their wealth, everything they have to make people watch evil. But when they see time to bless their friend, prayer time, they won't. Message, they won't. Why are you not sharing it? Come on, I'm waiting for you. Let's share it. Let's share it so that our friends can be blessed. We have come to draw. I say draw and draw. Draw from you again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, each and every one of you. All of you that made it this morning here, God is going to bless you. You are going to live in abundance, certainly. There is a, a, a bunch of blessings coming on here. I'm live online. I'm live online, okay? Call you back later. I'm live online, yeah? I've come to draw. Now, I want us to do a little bit quick prayer here. V 
Vic Morgan, God bless you, sir. God bless you. Okay, from Istanbul. God bless you so much. Um, everyone, Caroline uh, Obi Wulu, please. If if you are here, show up. Let me let me greet you. Okay. Uh, um, the mission is accomplished in Ghana. I'm about to leave for Lagos today. So after praying for you now, I'll get myself ready to go to airport and then I will fly down to Nigeria. And then um, see what we can do as well in the Nigerian mission field. So please, everyone, if you are here, show up now. Come up, let me see your name and then I'll greet you. Everyone that I hear, God bless you for coming. We're about to enter into prayer now. And I want you... Um, One second, yeah, please. Let's take this call. One second, it might be important. Hello, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Miss, were you able to check the wire? Yes, I checked it. I checked. I got the code. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Helena, there is something. There's revelation. I'm online live now. There's a revelation you shared with me. I don't know if you if you are in good. Um, if you want, if you're in a place you can talk, can you be able to share it with us? Oh. Uh, which one? There are three of them, isn't it? Which one was that? There was one he was talking about after we came out from prison. What was that that I saw? Yeah, the, uh, the ship's uh, in the cage. Yeah, 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 that very one. Okay, please share it with us. Speak louder so they can hear you. If you don't have credit, I can call you. Do you want me to call you back? No, let's go. Okay, go ahead then. Yeah, after we came back from uh, the evangelism at the prison, I got a revelation at midnight, let's say, uh, tw uh, one to two, thereabout. I saw so many ships in the, ga uh, in the cage, a big cage, and the cage was locked. Immediately, the gate opened and the ships came out. So I asked the Holy Spirit the beginning of the, the, the revelation. And he said, anyone that receives him genuinely, he set that person free from bondage, from prison, from anything that is keeping the person in cage. So that's what I saw. After... We, we came back from the prison. That's what I saw. Okay. Which prison was that that you follow me? Was it the prison inside the King's Palace? Yeah? Yeah. The That's Nesia Nesh. and the um, uh, Amanfo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man, she and a mom for okay. God bless you and thank you so much. The reason why I want to share this with them is that many people I ask to join me in prison ministry, they don't know the kind of eye opening that comes from it once you step into the prison with me god will open your eyes in a way that you begin to draw from heaven recklessly yeah. you will see revelation coming upon you there are three revelations there are two more revelations that you haven't even given i don't want her to go for it. let's just stop on this one i just wanted her to share this with people and my daughter save your credit i'll talk to you later okay daddy will be going back okay. to nigeria uh, today oh, okay yeah okay. god bless you okay thank god you bless. god yeah. bless you too daddy thank you Bye bye. This is one of my daughter that you saw in a video uh, that I posted last time, Helena. She has followed me for over four years on Facebook. She has never seen me. And this time around, she heard that I was in her own town, Kumasi. And she said, no, she can't miss. She took off from work, take excuse from work and everything. And she followed us and entered prison. When she came in there, I mean, she was crying profusely. She cried most of the time. And I told her, it is well, just only experience. And she saw so many people wounded. I mean, I'm talking about people that are helpless. People that are helpless. And then um, when that happened, she saw the message, heard the kind of prayer that I prayed the way, the kind of message I preach is a different message that you hear in the church, normal church service. This is a message of heaven and hell, salvation, seeing the light that you need to see. This is not about giving you knowledge as the word give. I give you what Christ gave to me. That's as I download it, I drop it for the prisoners that way. Do you know that this girl went home and at midnight like that, and she got this powerful revelation dream. See that there are so many fishes, uh, ships that are caged, caged. 
He said that many of them, that if they believe genuinely and accept the word as it comes genuinely, that he will open the gate and many of them will go. Irrespective of the sentence, the time or whatever. They think. But many people don't, do not understand. Her eyes opened and she saw it. She even got her own freedom because she has her own marital maybe bondage or maybe something is troubling her as well or anything. But I know that before this time next year, she will call us for wedding. She will come out because she needs to believe. She needs to believe. Okay, now she has become the Abounding Grace Foundation and the Gabriel that came out from Winneba Prison. Two of them have become Abounding Grace Foundation main backbone in Ghana. They are going to go to universities. I've given them mandate. I'll be sending money to them because they don't have that kind of money. I'll be sending money to them to be able to run to prisons and go and do this work I've been doing for the five prisons in Kumasi to solidify these people, to make them stay in Christ. The other one has been trending. Uh, he's a very rugged guy too. He has been in prison for so many years before he, about three years before he came out. When I ministered to them, pray for him, he came out. And that day, the funny part is that that day when I was in that prison in Winneba, this boy that he's talking about, he's the one that was interpreting for me in Winneba. And the fire entered him. Immediately after that, they released him. And he left. Three years, taken away. So this young boy Nana is going to represent the Abounding Grace Foundation here with other prisoners that are coming out to join him. So please, if you have not, endeavor. If you cannot go, let your money go. You are part of this. If you cannot go, let your money go. Because there are so many things happening. And God will keep on opening your eyes, revealing the things to happen and things to come. And he will reveal to you also a way of prosperity, way of living. Prosperity is not by miracle. It's by putting up your effort. I don't know who I'm talking to. Prosperity. See, those days people are saying, oh, miracle, miracle. You can't draw from miracle that you've not worked for. You need to do something for miracle to take place. Put up effort and God will supply. I know we call it unmerited favor grace, but that grace come upon those that God chose. Now, that's why I say, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy on. And I will show compassion to whom I will show compassion on. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that only of God that showeth mercy. When God said that I will show mercy, it means that he chose. Can you imagine? He chooses who he want to show mercy to. Oh yeah, I am not missing word here. I'm not missing word. I'm telling you the truth. I say he chose who he wants to show mercy. So what does he say? Hey, miracle is my life. miracle. Is. Miracle doesn't come like that. God chose who he will drop that for. We have abused the grace so much. We will keep a million naira in our account and see our neighbor dying of five brother that two hundred thousand naira can do or eighty or hundred thousand naira can do. No, in female prison, Kiriki Lagos. A lady was there for 30 something years now. She has been there for 30 something years. For the mother, the brother committed. There are four family members inside. Three boys in Port Harcourt. They have been there for 30, 30 something, 30 something years. They, they jailed their mother, death sentence. After they released their mother, all the four siblings are in prison. The female one is in Wim. She has the heaviest fiber. And the, all the churches in Lagos are visiting female prison. Nobody could go and take that fiber away. It was only abounding grace foundation that came and paid that money to go and do that surgery. Come on now, somebody. When God wants to the world, how can he jump here and pass? Every one of you that put in your money in abounding grace foundation, you will never go unrewarded, both here on earth and in heaven. That is a declaration and that you can take it to bank. What you hear me declare this morning, you can take to bank because I speak from the unction that is upon me. And I'm in this land of gold called Ghana, releasing prayer for you today. That when I step out from here, that prayer will work for you all days of your life. Yes, I am kneeling down in the land of gold. And I've come to draw from our Father. And he will supply. You know what gold is. Gold is divine. Many things that God do it is divine. It's perfect. So he's going to supply. He will supply unthinkable riches prosperity that are powerful that, 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 that have no repentance I say blessings that make it rich and add no sorrow that's what you are going to receive from God you need to work for it you need to put up effort come on now 
Go to that your bank account, clear them to look where people do something. Start up NGO. Go to any NGO. If you don't want to support the ones that are existing already in the world, go and start up one. Stop these savings because soon everybody will pass away and the service is there. And do you think you can come to heaven and heaven will accept you when you have millions in the account? People were dying and then you suddenly die and you come to heaven. You want to and no, he will send you to hellfire because you have sent some people to hell through pain. You cannot enter the kingdom of God if you have plenty savings of money when people are dying. Go and mark it. Many pastors are heading to hellfire. I can vow to God that this is true and I'm telling you the truth. You cannot have multiple millions, millions and millions in your account and you saving it for yourself and you are there even in your sick bed. You are still holding on to the money. You don't want to let go. You cannot enter the kingdom of God. You just can't. You just can't. This is hard through. I know many of you now are saying, what is evangelist saying? Please, my love, I love you and I'm going to tell you the truth. Even if you hate me in the place of telling the truth, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't change anything for me. I'm a man that sold out to die at my cross. Wherever I am sent my post, anywhere they post me, I'm willing to die there. So there is nothing I gain in lying or cheating. No, I have to tell you the truth. So that I may be able to preserve my own place in the kingdom. I don't want to lose it for anything. Come on now. Go and start clearing those millions in your account. Start up something. Start up ministry. Go and do women ministry. Do children ministry. Do whatever. Youth ministry. Anything you can do to use that money to empower those that need your help. If all the fingers are not equal. This tallest one can help this one. This one help this. This one help this one. Just help each other please. Help each other. I have come to draw, <laughs> draw, I like Habasha. draw, draw from you again. Let me take you somewhere. I want to read something for you. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 8, he says something that I love so much. Oh, we have come to draw, I like Habasha. draw, draw, draw from you again. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Machuku An. Machuku An said that she wished that pastors in Nigeria are hearing this. No, they are hearing. No, can I tell you what, Machuku? I have multitude of pastors watching me, but they are so man so ashamed of listening to an unqualified who don't know how to speak English, so they don't like their name to appear. They are just behind, the watching, peeping, hearing, and they are being convicted of their evils. Many of them. They cannot show up. They show up here. Once they make mistake, click the button. Their name show. You just mention their name. You see they disappear quickly. Because they don't want their members to know that they can go and hear the truth and come and tell them all these heresies. It's ego, pride, arrogance is the problem that men of God in Nigeria has. They don't want to bend down and learn. They don't. They don't. So much when I when we stop, you see ten people here, right? Look on there. You see that we have only ten people here. When I click this message finished, you will see maybe hundred or two hundred. Who are those two hundred? They ghosts. There are many of them are pastors that are watching from behind. They don't want you to know that they are watching. So I know exactly that there are voices and there are ears listening to me. So I'm not bothered. Even if I see only one person on my page showing up here on my page. When I'm done, go back there. You will see hundreds later. Before you give it time, you see over a thousand. You see two thousand. You see many thousands there watching. So don't worry about whether they hear me. They hear me. Even if I mention you some Jews that have come to my page to listen to some message, you will not believe it. That one of them, some the boy told me what their Jew said that he saw one boy, and saw one guy doing prison. I watched him online and I saw what he was doing. Why can't you all of you wake up and be like him? One of the members called me telling me what the agenda overseer said about me. So I can vow to you that so many are watching. But all we need to do is try to give them the right message be honest don't patronize don't make people to like you or begin to give you something no i'm begging you don't let don't make it so that people may like you just please now do everything to please god anything you can do it to please god are you hearing me 
anything you can do it to please God I don't know exactly um, how you want to live your life or or where you want to end up I don't know but for me heaven heaven is my goal heaven is my goal and if I cannot make heaven uh, it's sad it's sad I cannot make heaven inside. Let me take you to Philippians here, yeah? chapter 3, verse 8. He said, Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Are you with me? I count all things lost. Everything. Everything I count lost. Just consider everything lost. If you can consider that everything is just vanity, if you can consider that, you will make headway, you will go far. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and they count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. For whom I have suffered the loss for all things, count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. Just see that your bank account as rubbish, so that you may gain Christ. Who am I talking to? I will read this again. I'm reading from New King James Version. Can somebody post Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 in New King James uh, so that you don't think I'm making up this scripture by myself? Please help me. Anybody? Helena Idahosa, come on now my baby, please. Anybody around there that have their Bible on their apps, on their phone, please copy this scripture and post it down for me. Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 in New King James Version if you have it. If not, you can also use any other version. Let's see how it goes. But I mean, New King James say, Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. Somebody project it, please. I need someone to project that. And I pray for you this morning. Holy Spirit, divine you are god thank you pretty gloria thank you niv how did niv say it niv says what is more i consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing christ jesus power for my lord for whose sake i have lost all things i consider them garbage kaye kaye hi no, this very oh Kabada. My daughter, love you so much, Gloria. Ka, this is this translation is too powerful. He said, I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Please, somebody, somebody, can you just read this translation by yourself? Just read it. Oh, I have come to draw. <laughs> draw. Draw. Draw from you again. Hey, Kaebo. Oh Lord. I've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Ah, this translation is wounding me seriously. He said, what is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. Surpassing worth of knowing Christ. I consider everything loss. For whose sake I have lost all, all my drug money I lost for Jesus Christ. All the bank account is closed because of Jesus Christ. The cars are gone, girlfriends gone, everything gone because of Jesus Christ. I, I bound on my seven beautiful children because of Jesus Christ. Everything lost for the sake of Jesus Christ. I have lost all, I've gotten all, I've taken them away because of him. I consider all these things garbage that I may gain Christ. On the last day, Christ will consider so many things garbage that I may stay with him in the kingdom. Oh, I've come to draw. 
<laughs> draw, draw, draw from you again. I hope somebody will teach me how to play piano because I love to minister with worship, but I can't worship if I don't have the voice and I can't worship if I don't know how to play piano, but God will help me. Oh, I've come to worship, my Lord. <laughs> I want to draw from you. Oh, draw. Draw from you again. Hey. Oh, hey, oh. I just step in to worship, my God. To draw from him. And draw. Draw from you again. Chai. Kaya. Kaya. Please, the person with um, Arabic writing that just say Chai, please, I need your full name. Tell me your name. Let me know who you are. God bless you. I just got your message now. God bless you. As you supply for the poor, the God Almighty will supply unto you. Are you a boy or a girl, a man or a woman? <laughs> please tell me. I need to know because I can't read Arabic writing. Okay? Who can translate the Arabic? Translate me what she wrote, what her name is. I need to know. Oh, I've come to draw. 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 Hey, draw from here. Ah, Mr. Imochibui Kerafa. God bless you, my own brother. Thank you, okay? I just got here a lot not long ago. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are going to draw from God this month. You will draw from him. Yes, I said you will draw from him. Mr. Imo Chibuike, you will draw from him. You are from Imo State, right? You say your name is Imo Chibike. I say you will draw from him. You just did what no man think of. I say you will draw from him. You will. Oh, I've come to draw. <laughs> draw. Draw. Draw from you again. I saw my evangelist show up here. My evangelist, you shall draw from the Lord. <laughs> I say we shall come to draw. A la cabouche. <laughs> draw. Oh, draw. Draw from you again. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. I said I've come to draw. Papa, draw. Draw. Draw from you again. Oh, please, please, my daughter, uh, my daughter was an pretty Gloria. S send that again. Please resend that verse again. I want us to read it. I think there's something that, is, that that verse is causing some commotion in my life. Just resend that very verse that I quoted here. That um, Philippians 3 8. That's your own version. I read here from New King James Version. It says, Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. Then you gave us some other version. Please, I need that. Let me go back see if I can find it. Oh, okay. I can find it here. Uh, the translation she posted was from NIV, New International Version, even though I don't usually use that version because there are so many things that they removed from the Bible there. It says, what is more? I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. Surpassing worth of knowing Christ, Jesus my Lord. And he continues, says, for whose sake I have lost all things. I abandon all my children, abandon money, drug dealing, everything. I abandon everything. For whose sake I forsake my children. I consider all these things garbage that I may gain Christ. Imagine me considering my children garbage. Oh, you don't understand the depth. Do you know how it, it, it is the depth, the height of it that you consider your own children and every other thing garbage that you may gain Christ. Then God will consider every other thing garbage that your children may be saved. Oh, I've come to draw. Ha, draw. Hey, I draw. Draw from you again. Oh, hey. I said I've come to draw, my God. To draw and to draw. 
draw from you again. I don't know how many, how many of you that think that your bank account will save you in the days of affliction. Let me give you the news. The news is that so many people died of cancer while they had billions in their account. We have some American billionaires that died of cancer. Their money couldn't save them. We have some rich men. Look at Miriam Babangida. She was destroyed by cancer she died of cancer but she has billions in her account look at dora akonyele the nafdak woman in nigeria she died of cancer and she has billions in her account look at her bacha maybe just probably a sweetening of apple or maybe some small or okay in the apple right poison that is inside the apple that took a whole general like him away he couldn't save himself with all the billions look at yaradua he has the key of central bank the key of of Nigerian currency, everything, even our foreign currency, our World Bank account, whatever we have, the Yaradua has it, but that skin disease, I don't know if it's Egyptian boil or whatever they call it, or Egyptian affliction or plague, that thing destroyed that wealthy man. How many do you want me to tell you? There are so many. Do you know about all that big, big men that died of cancer? Mention their names. You see that the money could not save them. So if you know what you have in that your account that bluff your head and make you, you better go and withdraw it now so that you may draw from God. Withdraw it, go and find a NGO you want to support. I'm not saying you should support me. If you know any way you can put it, start putting it on, you go and create your own NGO. Go and start up something. There are so many prostitutes that are wasting around. Do you know why the prostitutes are not stopping the work? Because nobody to give them another job to do. If you give them a reasonable something to do, they will stop prostituting. There are many of them, they just need, they just need, oh, Kaya, have come to draw. Kaya, Kaya, draw. Oh, draw, draw from you again. Ah, my Lord, my knees are on the ground and I've come, lifted my hands unto you in adoration, in honor. I say, Father, I've come to draw. I say, draw and draw. Draw from you again. Hey, ha, ha, ha. Oh, halle. <laughs> I say, I've come to draw, Kale, Kale, draw, Sata, draw, draw from you again. Somebody, I'm speaking to somebody, I say, lady here, you are watching me right now. You have a children ministry. You have children ministry. Don't let any child die again in your, because that will be your exit point to hell. Don't let any child die again around you. Don't even let that happen. That is what I just heard. He said that he will give you the second chance. Use your money and start gathering the children right now. Pay their school fees. Help them in any way you can. And you see God multiply you. There's another lady standing here. She has a women ministry. A very powerful lady. Ah, ah, kada, kada, kabo, do, 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 kodo. I say, begin to train the people now. Begin to nurture them in the way of God. So that women will start to look good. When I say look good, they look holistic good. They look good in a holy manner, not to be dressing like a lot. Teach women how to put themselves in a modesty manner. Bring them in a way of the law so that you may gain your reward abundantly in heaven. You don't want to go to heaven and stay in outer court with Muslims. I'm telling you, because Muslims go to heaven as well. Listen to me. You are not going to enter heaven and stay in outer court. I want you to enter into holy of holies. Whereby you will see me, you see Apostle Paul, you see Jesus admire them those that die for souls you will go out there and you see us you worship with us when we throw the crowns down you throw your own because there's no compromise i'm not going to stay in outer court in heaven i must be in the inner holy of holies when they say i have come to draw hello oh, oh draw i will be one of those elders that will be singing and worshiping our father when they throw their crown i will throw my own my own will be even heavier than abraham you'll be heavier than moses then because i am I'm not going to die until I win millions of souls. My target is to beat Apostle Paul. That is my target. Thousands and thousands of souls are waiting for me to be won. And millions are on the other side of the world. I am not going to give up. Even under this very short period in Ghana, over a thousand souls are saved in the prison. Then they can now multiply and see what's going to happen. We are grabbing millions and millions of souls. And you that are sending me, you that are putting your money there, you are sharing the things with me. You don't understand the principle. He says, 
Apostle Paul who sowed the seed, Apollos water the seed, and God brings the increase. As I am going, your money is sending me. We are sharing. We are it's a division of labor. On the last day, the crown, your own crown, will be heavy like my own because there will be so many stars on our crown, and we will be saying, Father, we have come to worship you. <laughs> oh, honor you. Ah, hey, to worship you once again, you will be on that day with me. We will be lifting our voice, our holy hands will be lifted up in adoration of him whom we all have to do with. It is time to draw. <laughs> draw from the ministry of praying, from the ministry of supplication. Let us open our hearts and draw. I say that scripture that my daughter, pretty Gloria, sent here and I have ignited fire into my body, inside me. I, this, I saw, there's this fire in me. I, hey, kaya, 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 kaya. Oh, Canada. He said, Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish. I count everything, money, cars, as rubbish. Flirting lives are rubbish. All those things are vanity, they are rubbish. Because of Jesus Christ. Oh, you have come to draw. <laughs> draw. Oh, Kali. Draw. Draw from him again. Oh. <laughs> Holy Spirit, make all things meaningless. All things meaningless. For the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, we are asking you to make all things meaningless. Let everything not worth anything in the eyes of your people, my God. Oh God, God grant us that heart that is selfless. A heart like yours. That's all we desire, my God. I say, for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ, we need you, my God. Maybe everything that is in us, let it be meaningless, but let you be meaningful to us. Walk with us into that Philadelphia church, my God. Your faithful church and fill us with love. We need some love, my God. Cause us to be faithful and obedient unto death, my God. In this month of gold, in this month of diamond and gold. I say, Father, remove your people from poverty. That mentality that made them to not understand who you are. Fill their barn with inflow of blessings. Inflow of blessings. Abundance. Let there be infilling. But Lord, let this prayer prepare them a new vessel. Let them be a new wine skin, my God. A new wine skin can receive new wine. Because if you are keeping your old wine skin, when a new wine come upon it, you know what will happen. You will explode. Boom. You will bust. I pray thee, O oh Lord, grant your children the tenacity, the understanding, market, the wisdom, the knowledge to know how to renew their wine skin. Take away their old, filthy wine skin. Lord, I ask, tear away the filthy garment that are hindering them from knowledge of you. Lord, pull them down and escalate everything that you started. I say, God, break them, abase them, that you may be able to leave them by yourself. Lord, this month shall not pass by before your children will begin to see your glory. Lord, we seek for your glory. Lord, open yourself, reveal yourself. Your son Moses was seeking for your face. He was not asking for anything like money. He was not asking you for car or horses or vanity. He was not asking of mundane things. He was seeking for your face. He came down from the mountain of transfiguration. His face was transfigured. The face of Moses changed. He was filled with light. And the people saw Moses. They couldn't recognize Moses anymore. Lord, let your children come out from that transfiguration with a lightning of face. Let their face transfer countenance reflect. Let their countenance reflect. Let their countenance reflect. That glory may be attracted. Everything that magnets evil in their life, Lord, Lord, I excuse them from them. I rid them of every encounter that has to do with evil. Their encounter shall be of Jesus. That revival may cause earthquake. In the name of Jesus, I've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. I said I've come to draw. <laughs> Draw, draw, draw from you again. Hey, oh, <laughs> oh, we've 
you've come to draw senior senior draw kaya bashata draw draw from you again oh lord we thank you take us by your hands oh lord to that mountain of transfiguration lord take us to that mountain let your transfigure take place. Transfigure us, O Lord. Let our countenance begin to glow. Oh, oh. That when we come, we will be called the light of the earth. And we will call the salt of the earth. My God, you show us your message. Come and reveal your glory. Reveal your glory, for we have come to draw your glory. Oh, we have come to draw. Hala, hala. Draw. Hey. Draw. Draw from you again. Oh, sweet spirit of the living Jesus, we love you. We appreciate you, my God. We pour our love unto you, Holy Spirit, sweet Jesus. You are the lily of the valley, the ancient of days. You are the name that is above every name, my God. Jesus, you are essence of my life, essence of living. The reason why we are praying is because of you. Lord, there is none like you, none to compare with our first love, our last love. You are what I'm craving for. I'm craving for you lord ah we are craving for righteousness lord why should we fear why should i fear what people say they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you've done to me why should i fear what people say they don't know what you mean to me <laughs> they don't know what you've done for me. How could I be what people say? Why should I care what people say? They don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you did for me. Lord, I don't know why we should care about what we say. Lord, I want to live my life with a reckless abandonment. Father, let everybody see everything as rubbish for your name's sake. Let everyone see everything as rubbish for your name's sake, Father. Do it and take all the glory. Lord, if you can't remove this veil that cover the face of your children, how would they see your glory? Remove the veil that covering that covering cast. Remove it from their face, Lord, so that they may see your glory. We might be working for you, but we are not working for you. We might be working for you, but we never get to know you. We might be working for you, but we don't know who our Father is. Lord, remove that veil so your glory may manifest in us in the name of Jesus. With evidence of your love flowing out of our loins, my God. Lord Jesus, without you, we are nothing. We are asking you, reveal yourself. Clear away this covering cast. Remove this embargo. Remove this veil. My God, show those beauty in your daughter's eye to the men that are supposed to marry them. Remove those covering cast so the men will see the beauty of holiness, the glorious beauty in them and begin to ask for their hand in marriage. Contract marriage before December, Lord. Every girl that is here watching me and you have not married or you were divorced and God show you mercy for another marriage again, you are going to get someone to propose you this year and then I say, God, you are hearing me and I know you hear me at all times. As your son was shouted in the, by the side of the tomb, when Lazarus was lying there for three days decaying, smelling, the body decomposed, he said, Father, I know you hear me at all times. Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus, come forth. Lord, their husband, come forth. Each and every one, I'm interceding for this moment as we are in this land of gold. This is our month of gold. Our golden month. My knees are on the ground and I'm speaking, I'm speaking from the altar of heaven. I say, God, grant them their heart desires. Every man that are seeking for a good wife, a woman of modesty to marry, be a bishop. God will make you bishop before you look for a woman of valor. You have to become a bishop. Father, train your men so they know how to be men, not boys. Remove them from the Kadesh Banya and remove them from the platform of boys. A place where they will be thinking of party, party, party. Remove them there. Bring them to a home where they will do communion.
communication where there will be communion there will be fellowship house family fellowship Lord who set them on fire that they may know that you are God of bishops give them that unction to be able to be a bishop of their wives so when they marry they will not fail like I failed in the name of Jesus now this is eternal life that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent John 17 3 this is eternal life that they may know you if somebody is there project it please I'm begging you just project it my daughter project John 17 3 for me please oh oh Taya Basha Taya Project it for me so that people may know that we serve a living God. John 17, 3. Now this is eternal life. That they may know you. Father, I'm praying that your people may know you. Lord, we seek to be nearer to you. Jesus, draw us nearer. Draw us nearer. Draw us nearer, Jesus. 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 Draw us nearer. Nearer to thee. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, Lord. Draw me nearer. Nearer to thee. Draw me closer. Draw me closer, Lord. Draw me closer, closer to Thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, closer to Thee. Draw me closer, closer to Thee. It's my song every day that I may be nearer to Thee. Draw me nearer. Nearer to thee. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Keep me by your side, oh my king. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Give me your strength, your might, my God. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my songs. Every day, his father draw me nearer, 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 nearer to thee. Oh, my songs every day, that I may be closer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Jesus. I think I've seen that scripture that I quoted here. My daughter have posted it on King James. He said, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Uh, my daughter, don't you have it in that your version again? Or maybe the version doesn't have this one, because you know there are so many verses that are disappearing, that are disappearing from the online Bible. So please go and buy your your hard copy bible please these soft copy bibles they are removing so many things about jesus christ he says here now this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent john 17 3. yeah and he says in king james here and this is life eternal that they might that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me nearer. I say, Lord, we seek to be nearer to you, Lord. We seek to be nearer to you. Jesus, draw us nearer. We are asking you to draw us nearer and draw us nearer unto your body bearers, Father. Let us become a body bearer, my God. Let us be body bearer. Let's carry this cross to the very end. Father, draw us. Let your word cause every circle of evil around us to be broken. Father, draw us nearer. Draw us nearer, Lord. 
Lord, reveal yourself to us. This is how our NS cried this morning. Reveal yourself to us. As we step into this golden month, as you reveal to your, yourself to us, we may be able to see far and see the treasures, the hidden treasures of the land where we sojourn. Father, you have given us so much treasure. They are in the ground. There are oil, gold, bitum, silver, diamond, all kind of zinc, all kind of stained iron. You have given us so much hidden treasure, the treasures of the darkness. But Lord, we cannot no see if you cannot open our eyes reveal yourself to us come nearer that we may see you come nearer lord take us away in a place of mountain and show us your face take us into that holy of holies in that mountain transfiguration oh lord take us into there and make our countenance reflect light more and higher brighter than moses Ah, for we have a better covenant with Jesus Christ. This is not the days of Moses. This is the days of the cross of Calvary. We are standing on a better covenant. I feel the presence of Holy Spirit here once again, my God. So you may take us face to face. Father, we want you to talk to us face to face. We need a face to face encounter with you. So that personal revival, inward revival, make it start. Let the manifestation of inward revival take place right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, draw us nearer. We crave for you, Lord. We crave for the heavenly key, the key of heavenly glory. We crave for the key of righteousness. We crave for the key of wealth, that covenant that gives wealth. We ask us to step into it. Isaiah 45, 3 says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of the secret places, that you may know that I am the Lord, your God, who call you by your name and the God of Israel. He will take us to that treasure, that hidden place. Father, give me my own home, my working tools, uh, that I may tell, even at this present dispensation, where economic meltdown is shaking the earth, uh, where the treasures of earth disappear and here hide themselves under the, the ground, uh, under the, the dry ground. Uh, Father, give me the hoe, the axe, the shovel, every tool needed to break my fallow ground. Uh, I need to till this ground. He said to Isaac, I know it's a drought. I know it is dry. It's a stony and rocky ground. Uh, it's not a place that palatable to sow a seed. But the Lord said, Isaac, do not go to Egypt. Stay in this land that I will bless you. And Isaac, till, till, till the ground until there will be a seed. And after sowing the seed, Isaac reap on the food. Our God cannot lie. Let our man be the lie. Let God be the truth. Father, be the truth in the life of my brothers and sisters this morning. Reveal yourself to them. Oh, show them your glory. Show them your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is how we are starting this month. Each and every one of you that are here, may you be blessed. Go and have the best month of your life. Be fruitful. Multiply in it. Replenish the earth through this month. Subdue the earth and have dominion. I said, be fruitful on this earth in this very month. Multiply on this earth in this very month of gold and say be replenished. After replenishing the earth through this month, you will subdue the earth. Every wicked things that are moving around, you will subdue them. And after subduing it, oh Lord, we give you dominion over the food, over this, everything that is creeping on this earth, both the ones in the water, on the air, wherever they are. I say you will have dominion over them. These five power keys i've given to you be what fruitful you shall be fruitful i say be what multiply you shall multiply i say do what replenish you shall replenish i say do what you shall subdue you shall subdue and i say go and have what dominion over the fishes of the earth the beds of the air, the evil that creep on the floor, both the one that hanging on the trees, both the witch and wizard, you shall have dominion over them. In the name of Jesus, I have blessed you. Lift me up in your prayer. I'm about to jet out to the airport to go and catch my flight back to my homeland, Nigeria. When we get there, Father, this unction within me, let that unction spark up revival in Nigeria, that every evil in that nation will be eradicated. And the Jerry Rollins of our Ghana, you will appear in Nigeria to 
eradicate all the evil leaders that we may have peace in our nation. Father, thank you for answered prayer. Thank you for answered prayer. I bless all of you and I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. Go and it shall be well with you. It's a month of fruitfulness and that this particular month of gold, you shall be fruitful in this month in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you all, everybody that have come. I love you all and I appreciate you. Those that missed this prayer, you can go and watch it. It's not yet late. I'm going to share it now. But make sure that you share. Like I said from the beginning, if you don't share this prayer, you are not a nice person at all. You need to let others be blessed. If you like what you are eating, then others should eat what you are eating. Amen, my evangelist. I love you, okay? Say, sir, may I experience my own good. Yes, I will in Jesus' name. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you. I appreciate that prayer. I love you, mama, okay? God bless you. God bless each and every one of you. God bless every one of you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate you all. <clears throat> oh. We have come to draw and he has given us what we want. We came to draw and he answered us. And please prepare yourself, okay? Prepare yourself because there will be infilling of his of your vessels. There will be infilling. Make sure that your that your um well, how do I put it now? You see that that vessel, you know, that temple you are dwelling in. Make sure that it's sanctified and purified, okay? Keep away from every filthy lifestyle, okay? So that you may be able to feel it because this vessel, this vessel you see here, that is the wine skin. And if you pour out new wine into an old wine skin, damage is inevitable. It will burst. So I'm asking you to please purify, sanctify, clean yourself so that your vessel, this this skin this wine will be a new one once it's a new wine skin the old the new wine will pour into it and there will be infilling like this woman of shunai shunamite woman there will be infilling 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 so gather so many vessels okay there will be blessings in abundance i know what i'm saying you can take me as a joker but don't take my prayers as joker i'm telling you you can take me as whatever you want but don't don't even neglect my prayers because I'm a man that hears him and he hears me. I'm a son to him. I'm a slave to Jesus. Okay? Um, Ogaziamaka said I should um, accept his request. And we have enough. You see, that request, uh, they have over 800 people that are waiting for space to come out. So when I manage to delete some people, I have to start from people that started requesting. There are so 800 and something people waiting for me to add. So what you need to do, Ogaziamaka, click follow. You follow, okay? If you have anything to talk about, you have my number. Then if it's something that have to grow the ministry, feel free to add it on WhatsApp. But if it's just ordinary talk, I mean, then you can call with your messenger. But if it's something that will better the ministry, that we can be able to begin to win more souls and so on, add it on WhatsApp. You have my number. Please, somebody, evangelist of pretty glory, any one of you, send my number to that young man, okay? That just came in. Let him call. Let me know what you want us to talk about. So add that 0809 Add it on your WhatsApp and then you call me. Let me know. And let it be something that will grow the ministry, okay? God bless you. And I love each and every one of you. May God bless bless you in abundance you shall walk in that gold you see your even the shoe you will put your feet on is made of gold you will become a golden lady a golden guy that's what you will become this day. men will see you want to marry you in fact you will become a hot cake this month you will become a hot cake and the guys hey hey you will shine that ladies will say mm -mm, this is the bishop of my life they will be hunting for you look at how ugly I am at the age of 50 do you know what people say about me oh you are very handsome I say what an old 50 years old man yes I am handsome in the Lord and I know that I am you bet I do you call it arrogant let it be arrogance in Christ I'm telling you oh, oh we have come to draw <laughs> Becky is also asking for the number Please project the number. Big user Esmile 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 want to uh, uh, add um, call. Please, every one of you, anything that will bring um, 
Okay, mommy, uh, thank you so much. You have replied the number. Okay, Becky, see the number from my my lovely evangelist Shalom here. See the number she posted out. That that number you can call me on WhatsApp on it. I will be able to hear you out. Okay, if it's a prayer request, feel free to write down the prayer and send to my inbox. Uh, so I may, but if it's something that I have to grow this ministry, abounding grace for that will move us forward. Feel free to call me. And if it's a prayer request, send it in during the night. I will battle it. I will fight it out. Okay. For now, I'm gonna pack my things, take another bath again. I've taken my morning shower, but I'm sweating again because I didn't. Put, I forgot to put my AC on. I don't want to get up here to go and put AC on. Um, and then um, I'm sweating a bit. So uh, I will be leaving very soon to Nigeria. And uh, midnight, I will be praying for the prayer request. And before, and if you are one of those that are sending prayer requests, before you come, you send me prayer request. Let me remind you: if you send prayer request, I'm going to send you an assignment before I will pray for you. The assignment I usually give to people before I pray for them, except those that have done it before, like people that are partners, sponsors, evangelists, and those ones they have express altar uh, entrance. They enter my altar anytime. Their names are on my altar, so I pray for them constantly because they are the ones helping me for the work. But if you are not part of those that are sponsoring or helping the work of prayer partners and so on, you come in. We send you on an errand. The errand is that you must go and read Isaiah 58. That's the assignment. You read Isaiah 58 from verse 1 to 14. You read it properly. Under that one week, you understand. Then you call me back. If you like what you read, you call me back. And then you tell me what you understand before I will pray for you. We have to begin to learn what we are created to do. The purpose of our existence. We are not just a, a, a waster of air. We are not just a consumer, but a producer. Come on, somebody. I don't know if that's the right English, but I, I think Holy Spirit asked me to say so. He said, we are not just a consumer, but a producer. Is that right? Evangelist, can somebody ask me, answer me? Is that right? Is that a good English? You that, people that went to school, please tell me. You are not a consumer, but a producer. If it's okay, tell me that it's okay. Let, let's just say goodbye and go. I have to leave you guys now. I think I'm done for today. Yeah? Let me go and get myself ready. I love you all and God bless you all. Look at how bushy I am <laughs> because from the Ghana outreach. I need to go home and clean myself up, okay? God bless you. I love you all. And all of you that have been there, support us in this Ghana trip. I want to tell you that God is going to support everything you do. And in those that are standing by Abounding Grace Foundation by monthly contribution, God will never forsake you in every month you enter. Those that are standing by us every week, giving us... Um, uh, uh, giving us uh, support every week Heavenly Father will stand by you every week and will supply all your need. Those that are saying that this is all I have I, I recklessly abandon and give all. As you abandon and give all, heaven will recklessly supply all your need. All. I say all, not some. Supply all your need. In any way, in any measure you have been assistant to this foundation that same measure you will Save. And those are praying recklessly in the midnight, they are battling, praying for me and their abounding grace. For I say, heaven will continue to supply the answer of things you did not ask for. Can I say it again? I think you didn't hear me properly. I say, heaven will continue to supply all that you did not ask for if you are the one recklessly praying for me. Now, there's one of my son in Ghana here. Let me uh, hold on one second. Let me hear him. Hello, Papa. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? Welcome, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Getting myself ready now to leave for Nigeria. Well, I've, I've spoken to Helena and yourself. Please remember what I told you guys, yeah? Make sure. Yes, please. Make yes, sure please. that... I called her right now and I said I wanted to go to her. But he said you'll be leaving to some place. So as you, as you come on evening time, so that's why... Okay, what I'm saying, uh, eh, what, what I'm saying most is about this one of Kwame Kruma University. You remember what I told uh, you guys, yeah? You, she told you, she told you that they are on vacation. Yes, when they re, when they resume, when they resume, yeah, yeah you guys go yeah. there, get the students' union and get them together. You see that university has given us, God has given that university to us. We must take it. Yeah, 
Are you hearing me? Okay. All those students okay. from Kenya, Nigeria, everywhere, they are our girls, they are our boys. We are going to take them. We are going to take them for Christ Jesus. You and Helena, make sure that that Kumasi University is handed over to Abounding Grace Foundation. Go there, get all the information. Tell me the day do you okay. really want us to get it. Yes, we will send you. We will send you guys money to print some flies and share with them. Gather them and then, we, or even we will share the flies and send it to you guys. In fact, I will print the flies like one thousand flies. Yeah, we will send it from Nigeria. I will give it to GUO Motors. You go and pick it in their bus station and then you guys start sharing it and prepare. Whether in two months time or in a month time, when I come, we arrest those thousands of students. Okay. Okay, thank you. And, and all those down. and all those prisons in Kumasi, don't leave any of them unturned. We will try to be sending money for you guys to move on, move okay. the work on, okay, so that you'll be visiting those prisoners again, okay? Both the ones of uh, fibro operation, the ones of uh, high knee operation, the church they are building in this new one we give money yesterday. You have to be visiting and make sure that everything is going well, okay? Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. Okay. And I hope you I, you have, I hope you receive Jenny. I hope you have bought your mattress that we give you the money. Have you bought it? Yeah, I will go and bought it right now. Okay, you go and buy it now. Okay. Buy it right now. Please yeah. go and buy it so that you sleep well. You are laboring in the vineyard. We'll continue to support you. Okay. Those yeah. three years, okay. those three years you spend in that Winneba prison, you will forget them before three months in the name of Jesus. Yes, Thank you. May God bless you. God Amen. Bless you. Amen. All right, later, okay? And I wish you a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much, my son. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Yes, it's one of the battle as God has raised. It's one of those that are flocking out from the prisons in Ghana because wherever we step in, people begin to go home is the key that God gave us in Isaiah 1, Isaiah chapter 61 from 1 to 3. You know, opening the prison gate for those that are bound, giving them beauty for ashes is the main purpose of our bounding grace foundation, touching lives. So please, if you are have anyone in the prison, Tell them to endeavor to tell us where she is. Even in South Africa, let's start working on it. We are working on Liberia now. There's one Liberian guy that contacted us. We're working on this sale alone. We are working on it. We are working on it. Anyone that we see resources and somebody who can sponsor us, we will go and set the captives free. And when we set them free, we make them a soul winner. We mentor them like this Gabriel now and then my other daughter. They will go there, do everything. We print flyers for Kumasi, Kumasi Crusade and send them. Then they gather the students in their very big hall. We go there and grab them for Jesus Christ. We will grab all of them for Jesus Christ. That's what the ministry is all about. We want to save lives and life must be saved because it's our hunger. We are thirst for it. You know the way deer pants for water brook. That's the way our heart in abounding grace foundation pants for souls. We crave for it. We haunt it. We, 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 we jog after it, we run after it, we chase it, we pursue it passionately, passionately. Soul winning is supposed to be pursued passionately. So please, thank you for being part of us and please don't stop the money coming in because your money have done wonders in Kumasi. We spent over how many thousands of dollars? Thousands of dollars have gone in this Kumasi trip. Thousands of dollars. But you know what? I wouldn't even give account how they come. It's you, you, you. All this your small, small money here and there. It becomes big. Imagine if everybody's giving ten, ten dollar, and one million people give it's ten million dollars. If we people are giving ten, ten dollars every week, we can go far. But people don't want to because some there are so many of my. <laughs> I don't like saying this. It looks like I'm being biased. Some of my Hebrew brothers and sisters, they always say, Man of God, ah, I cried throughout the last night. Your video touched me. Ah, man of God, I will come to Nigeria next year. When I come, we will follow together and go to prison. I feel like I say, Shut up, hang up, stop disturbing my phone. That's the way I feel. But I won't tell them that. But that's just the way I feel. Oh, you see, because they want to just come and see. Maybe if they will, if they will give me the money, I will use it. My evil brothers and sisters, ah, they hardly trust themselves. You see, ah, I'm coming next year. Hi, when I come next year, we will go to prison. We will cook for them. We buy them drinks and everything. What stops you from doing it now? Are you sure you're gonna be alive by next year? 
Are you sure you're gonna see December? All these things are things where let's be practical. Stop being naive. You don't know what date Jesus is calling you, and you are there saving and saving and saving and planning future that you don't even know what's gonna happen. You need to focus in the coming of Christ Jesus Christ. He might show up tomorrow. If he shows up tomorrow, what will you say to him? I'm coming next year. Latest next year, December, I will come. I will wait for you one year and six months before you come and help prisoners and shut up. You are hypocrites. Get out of my Facebook. You are, you are meaningless. You don't have any reason to even call me on the phone. What are we doing? If we don't want to save souls, we get out of the way. Put out save souls. We save souls. It's not a big deal. Whether we get this money or not, somebody else will do this work. If I can't do it, God will send somebody else to do it. But what I'm saying, let us do it so that we can get the blessing. God doesn't lack remnants. God doesn't lack people that will do this work. All he needed is just somebody who will be obedient so that I may bless him. He has given so many pastors, so many bishops money. They are not using it. He's not happy. Now he's looking for people that will use the money. And you have me here. And you're telling me you're coming next year so that you can go. Do you think you give me $1,000? I'll use it to do what will I do with your $1,000? I won't do anything with it. I take the one that even my house rent. They give me house rent. I take my house rent to go to prisons. How, how much more? Your $1,000. That is nothing. You need to understand that this Christianity, it has to come from inside. Oh. It has to come from inside. My lovely people, listen to me. Procrastination is a sin of highest order. Procrastination. I will, I will. Oh, I'm coming to Nigeria. One even just, one was like every time. I'm coming to Nigeria. I'm coming to Nigeria. One lady from Ireland, actually, she just came to Nigeria she called me once that she was very close to my house, so not far, very, very close. And he was saying, oh, man of God, we are here. Okay. And we talked how we meet so that the brother will pick him up and so on. Obviously, the brother might think that he's this pastor that the sister is going to give all the money he came from Ireland with. I didn't hear them again. After one month or three weeks or so, he said, oh, my daughter, I went to this place. I went to that place, blah, blah. Before I know it, yesterday, I saw her message. Oh, I'm back in Ireland now. What did I say? I didn't say anything. All I know is that people don't understand exactly what they are doing. Because, you know, when they step in here, devil will divert their eyes from the true mission, from the work they're supposed to do, from the less privilege they're supposed to support. All the money that you pray for them one year or two years, they have sent in the bank. They now remember that they will go and build house in their village. They remember that they will go and buy cars for their family members or cars for themselves to use. They will forget that they were seeking for prayer for that paper to come out to go home, seeking for prayer for that money to come out to be able to do something for work of God. And when it comes, you don't see them. I'm not saying you should give to me, but please, when you come, go and find mission work and spend that money. Stop burning money in showing up. That's why many people end up in accidents, end up in many things, and then they will call, Oh, man of God, I came to Nigeria and I'm sick. Can you pray for me? I'm now in back to Germany. I'm back in Spain. I'm very, very sick. This and that. I will look at your phone. I'll delete it and move on. I'm not praying. I'm not a hypocrite because I don't know what you came here to do in the first place when you cannot even fulfill your promise to go and visit a prisoner. What am I wasting my time for years? I prayed for you. You finally step in. Don't even see one single prisoner. No, you are a hypocrite. Whatever sickness it is, I'm not interested in it. I won't even, I won't even, I won't even try to pray for it at all. That is just what you need to know. Anyway, I love you all, okay? God bless you and every one of you. And we're going to definitely meet again very soon. God bless you, okay? Have a very wonderful.